guys, welcome back to my I'm a Celeb series. For anyone new here, my name is Alana. And in today's video, we are going to be recreating Sarah Jessica Parker's waves. Okay guys, I'm super excited about this because I have not recreated this look in like, honestly, years and I used to absolutely love it and I just feel like by doing this video today I'm gonna fall in love with it all over again and then I'm gonna have my hair like this all the time. Also the new Sex and the City series came out a few God, it's actually, it's probably been a few months now since it came out. It feels like it was literally last week, but it was quite a few months ago now. I haven't actually watched it yet. And I'm really intrigued to know your thoughts because I feel like I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Mantha was my absolute favorite. So I kind of feel like a little bit reluctant to watch it because I'm like, well, my favorite character isn't there anymore. I'm intrigued. Let me know in the comment section, have you been enjoying this series? And also I want to know what it's like without Samantha. Like, what's your thoughts? Do you feel like you've been missing her? Have you not been missing her? I just feel like I would miss her so much. Like she, she's probably the only one that makes me laugh out loud. I just, I love her. I'm all about her. If I was a Sex and the City character, I would probably definitely be Samantha. That's actually another good one. Who do you think you'd be? Comment below. Okay. Right, enough blabbering. So guys, I'm not actually gonna be using the Dyson Airwrap to recreate this look today. I am actually going to be using my Dyson Coral. I have been getting more and more requests from you guys to show you some looks using other hair appliances. And I don't really want this channel to turn into the Dyson Airwrap channel. And I feel like that's kind of what's starting to happen. Don't panic, I will be releasing lots more tutorials on how to use the Dyson Airwrap and specifically for this Am Celeb series. But I will also be using other hair appliances. Now, you do not need the Dyson Corral to recreate this look today. You can literally use any hair straightener. I used to recreate this look all the time using my GHDs and my Cloud Nines. So it doesn't matter what hair straightener you have, you will be able to recreate this look. And I decided I'd do something a little bit different in today's episodes, and hopefully this is something I will implement going forward because I absolutely love fashion. I've been trying to think of ways that I can kind of incorporate it a little bit into my videos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create this look with your hair and then at the end of the video I'm going to show you how I style the hairstyle I'm gonna put a little outfit together and hopefully that will give you some inspiration on how you can style your hairstyle because I don't know about you guys but like I always do my hair and makeup first and then decide what outfit I'm wearing like depending on how my hair and makeup looks will totally determine what I'm wearing sometimes I'll be set in an outfit then I'll do my hair a certain way and I realize you know what like that outfit does not work with this hairstyle depending whether you have it up down straight curly like it's just it's so weird but it's so true so that's why I'm just gonna wear a basic top and I'm gonna show you what I would wear with this hairstyle and like I said hopefully it can give you some inspiration on how you can dress this look I feel like these fairy lights behind me keep going off because the battery is like dying so they'll probably be off in a few minutes anyway I have just washed my hair a few hours ago and I smoothed it out a little bit actually using the smoothing brushes in the Dyson era because my hair is naturally quite wavy and curly so I did smooth out a little bit using the smoothing brushes I didn't pay too much attention to detail I just done it super super quick the aim was to just get it drying to get rid of some of the frizz but if you don't have the Dyson era and you're watching this whilst you're blow drying your hair just use a hairbrush to smooth it out or else just quickly run over it with the hair straighteners. Okay, so guys, you are going to obviously start by sectioning your hair. I've actually already waved the bottom section of my hair. I'm going to show you from this section because I just feel like it's a lot easier for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing from up here rather than like down here. Obviously, you're going to section your hair and work through the different layers and obviously you will start by waving the bottom section first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a few waves to show you how I do it. Then I am going to speed it up and then I'm going to show you how I style this look with an outfit. So obviously you're gonna start by spraying some heat defense because you wanna look after that precious hair. You're going to give your hair a brush. Always brush your hair whenever you're using any hair appliance. It's just gonna help it glide through it so much easier. If you've got knots in your hair, it's the straightener is going to get stuck and it's just not going to create a very good wave. Okay, so. So guys, you're going to start by clamping the hair and twisting it away from your face. You're then going to twist a few more times as you pull the straightener down your hair. The next wave, you're going to do the opposite direction. 
so you're going to twist the hair towards your face. By doing the waves in different directions, this is just going to make it appear thicker and look more natural. The more times you twist the hair, the more defined the wave will be. The key to creating a wave instead of a curl is ensuring the straightener is pointing down towards the floor as you pull it and twist it down your hair. If you turn the straightener on its side, it will create more of a curl rather than a wave. You're going to repeat the same method on the rest of your hair, ensuring you do each section in an opposite direction. A great tip for people whose hair struggles to hold a wave is to spray some lightweight hairspray on each section before you apply the straightener, as the heat will help activate it, and this is going to help the wave last for longer. When styling your bangs, always ensure you wave them away from your face. This will just look a lot more natural. Okay, so once you've finished weaving all your hair, it's going to look a little bit ridiculous. I feel like I look like a five-year-old right now. But you want to let these curls set and cool down. So leave your hair for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make it look amazing. So you can either do one or two things at this point. You can either brush through your curls to make them look all smooth and make them look all thick. However, I personally love making them look all tousled and that kind of fits a little bit more into the look that we're recreating today. Day. So, you're going to get some hair oil. At the minute, I am using this Gijou hair oil, and it's absolutely amazing. You literally need like one, two little drops, rub it into your fingertips, and it just really nourishes your hair. Two little drops. You can use whatever hair oil you have, and you're going to rub it into your fingertips. We're going to start by scrunching. That's because I've got a lot of oil on my fingertips right now, and I don't want to grease it out. And then we are going to start running our hands through the waves. And that's just gonna start pulling them out. So you can already see the difference between this side and this side. So we're gonna pull out this side. And I always like to tip my hair upside down, give it a big shake. You can obviously part your hair whatever way you want. You can part it over to the side in this look. Sarah, feels really weird just calling her Sarah, doesn't it? It's like, it feels like I know her. Has it parted in the middle? So guys, that is the finished look. I am now going to show you how I style it with a super cute little outfit. look I hope you enjoyed recreating this look with me if there's any other hairstyles you would love to see in this I'm a Celeb series please make sure you comment below thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time